Hello? Hello. I'm happy to say that I went to Target the other night. I got some things. I didn't get a whole lot of stuff because Chris was hot on my trail the entire time. You would think that he was carrying like a stopwatch trying to get me out of there. Chris likes to call my shopping and browsing and taking my time loitering. So because of that little obstacle, I was a little bit limited, but I managed to grab a few things and who doesn't love a good old Target haul? Am I right? In no particular order, I'm just gonna grab things and start talking about them. First off, I had to stock up on my Califia Farms unsweetened Pure Black Cold Brew Coffee. You guys saw this in my last What I Eat in a Day video. Target is pretty much the only place where I get this. I'm almost positive that they probably have it at Whole Foods here in Vancouver, but I just can't be bothered to go to Whole Foods. I absolutely love this. It's like 10 times stronger than regular coffee, and I prefer iced coffee over hot coffee any day. These are like five bucks American, and I'm only gonna share American prices because I really don't wanna do the math for Canadian exchange. They were all out of my favorite silk almond milk caramel creamer, so I decided to try this Coffee Mate Natural Bliss Almond Milk Creamer, and this is, again, in the caramel flavor. I read the ingredients on the back of this. They're not very different from the silk one, but I do prefer the silk one over this one. Not bad, but not silk. I got two of these and they were like three bucks and now I gotta put these back in my fridge. BRB. Okay, confession time. I always peruse down the as seen on TV aisle. I just never know what I'm gonna find and the curiosity kills me. Well, this time around, I didn't find anything for myself, but I did find something for my niece. It's this thing called Morph. It's like a weird ass foam creature that shapes into a unicorn. It's very interesting. It says that the more that you play with it, the larger it grows. You morph it, you shape it, you bounce it, float it, print it. I don't know, it looked fucking weird. It was in a in the shape of a unicorn. So it starts out like that. You play with it and then it morphs into a unicorn. And unicorns, friends, are what? That's right, for children. So makeup companies, take it easy, will ya? In case you're wondering, that unicorn morph thing was $14.99. I hope my niece doesn't watch this because I kind of want to surprise her with it. I got some thin Oreos because I think I might be like the only person on the planet that doesn't like the icing inside the Oreos. I always scrape off half the icing and then lick one side, stick the Oreo back together, and then dip it into my milk. The Oreos were three bucks, not that anybody cares. I got some replacement brush heads for my Olay facial cleansing device. I've had this, honestly, probably since I started my YouTube channel. I have a Clairsonic and I have this, and I use this 10 out of 10 times. I don't even use the Clairsonic. This comes in a pack of two, and I think it was like 10 bucks or something like that. And I'm pretty sure the device was 30 bucks initially, and I've honestly had it for like seven years. It's great. It's got two speeds. You've probably heard me talk about it in previous videos if you've been here for a long time. I absolutely love the graphic tees in the men's section. I always end up there. I have every shirt imaginable from there, and if I don't buy it for myself, I buy it for Chris, and I end up wearing it anyway. This time around, I picked up the Harry Potter Deathly Hollows graphic tee. I got this in a medium. If you can't tell by my fabulous fashion choices in all of my videos, I really should have been a fashion blogger. I don't really wear anything aside from oversized hoodies and oversized t-shirts when I'm at home. And when I go to the gym, let's say I'm doing cardio, I love to wear oversized hoodies and oversized t-shirts because I sweat more. So when I buy this kind of stuff, it's either in a medium or a large. And this was $12.99. I find that there are shirts in the men's section that are like a heathered material like this are a lot softer than the solid colors. I have a few Hogwarts shirts that are a solid red and a solid black and they're nowhere near as soft as the heathered material. I'm just full of useless facts. In one of the holiday hauls that I did in December, I went to Target and I picked up that really nice light gray fluffy oversized sweater if you guys remember it. Well, I ended up going back and I picked up another one. This one is a multicolored one. It's got pink, it's got turquoise, it's got blue. It's definitely not as oversized as the gray one. I got this one in a medium as well, but honestly it kind of fits like a small. This one is a bit more snug. It doesn't cover my butt. It's not oversized like the other one, and I've tried to stretch it out and it 
didn't work out. So I think I might get another one in a large and see if it looks oversized. I just love that style with leggings and boots and I like it to cover my butt so that I can wear it to work. I didn't see the gray one in store this time, but I checked online and you can still get them online and they were $24.99. They're called the pullover sweater. I highly recommend picking the gray one up. They're so soft and they're very, very warm. I picked up just a couple makeup products. The first one is the e.l.f. Lip Plumping Gloss and this is in the shade Champagne Glam. This is a very pretty sheer lip gloss. I'm wearing it right now and it does tingle a little bit. I would use it probably as like a lip topper. It's uh, a really pretty color and I think it'll go well on top of a lot of nudier shades if I want to make them a little bit more glossy. Smells really nice, feels really comfortable isn't like overly plumping to the point that it's irritating. I'm getting more of like a cooling sensation from it than anything else. It's not stinging. There's some menthol or something in it because it feels cool and I like it. And I really like the componentry. It looks very luxury. It's a thicker, chunkier tube and the doe foot applicator is quite nice as well. This was $5. And I also picked up the e.l.f. liquid matte lipstick in the shade Tea Rose. And this comes in pretty much the same componentry except it's a frosted tube, not a glossy one. And the shade is absolutely gorgeous. It's like a dusty mauve. It's very comfortable on the lip. It dries completely matte and I've discovered that it is an exact dupe of the Dose of Colors liquid lipstick in the shade Stone. Do you guys remember when everybody lost their fucking minds over this when it first came out? I was one of those people. I wore this every single day for about a year and a half. This is just the shit and now you can get it for like five bucks from Target. This Tea Rose shade initially came in these little matte lip color tubes. They are really chunky matte crayons and I've gone through so many of these, specifically in the shade Tea Rose. I think all of the um, matte lip colors in this form have now been created in liquid lipstick form. I think that's kind of what they were going for with the liquid lipstick range because I was looking at the shades and they were identical to the matte lip colors in the stick form. Up until this past weekend, I hadn't even seen these in stores. I'm pretty sure you were only able to purchase them online. So there's a bunch of new shit in store that I have to go through the next time I visit. Okay, this next item I am very excited about. The second that we made eyes, I just knew she was gonna be mine and I was gonna take her home with me. This beautiful, majestic purse. She was $39.99. She's absolutely gorgeous. She's kind of like a cream on this side, black on this side. She's got some black straps with some gold hardware. She's got a magnetic closure here. You can fit a ton in this old girl, okay? And then and she's got another compartment here that zips that also has gold detailing and I am just ecstatic about this. She is absolutely gorgeous. And for those of you who might want to pick up one of her sisters, but you can't find it in store, don't worry. I went on the interwebs and I found you the exact deets. This is called the Quilt Tote Bag and it's by the brand A New Day. And like I said, it was $39.99 and it also comes in black. The black one actually looks like the purse that I have right now that I purchased from Aldo in Canada, which is right next to me, one second. This one is from Aldo. It's a bit heavier and you can tell that it's a little bit like more sturdy and made with better material than the one from Target. More or less the same concept. This one has two zippers as opposed to one. I think the straps might be different. So if you're not feeling the cream and you wanna go with all black, you got options. I decided to go with cream. With spring around the corner, sometimes I like to add little pops of cream in my wardrobe, if you know what I'm saying. And you know what? I absolutely love Target and Aldo purses. I am totally not a high-end purse kind of girl. I don't own any designer purses. I don't know that I ever will. Maybe one day I'll buy myself a designer purse if it's nice enough and I feel like I'm gonna get a lot of use out of it, but I just, I cannot justify designer purse prices. I'm just not that girl. We all value different things you know last but certainly not least we have this little guy right here which you may have noticed is new I will put him up on the screen because I really don't feel like getting up right now he was $39.99 and I have been eyeing this little bastard for months and I can never find him in store and I didn't want to risk getting it shipped in the mail and having him come broken it's just an artificial palm leaf tropical plant comes in like a really pretty white vase and it's got a cute little black stand and like legs 
All right, that concludes our journey together today. I hope you guys enjoyed this haul, even though it was a little small. I figured I found some cute shit. Why not share it in case you guys see something you like, you can pick it up. I'll try to include links of everything that I purchased in the description box below. Okay, I'm gonna go now. Thank you guys very much for watching. Thank you for subscribing and I'll see you in the next one. Okay, love you, bye.